Money A Sports has come to the Twin Cities at U.S. Bank Stadium in downtown Minneapolis. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here as it'll be the Kansas City Chiefs taking on the Minnesota Vikings. Greg Joseph now ready to get this one started, and we are underway from Minneapolis. And they're going to mark that where it went out of bounds, so really good starting field position up past the 40-yard line. First down, Mahomes. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. A pass complete downfield. It's Valdez Scantling. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. What a start here to the ball game. You get the good kick return, followed by a quick first down through the air. Yellow. If this defense isn't careful, they might be looking at deficit before they know what hit them. On first and ten, here's Pacheco. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. I know the toss play begins with the guy taking the snap and turning around and tossing it to the runner. But where the real intrigue is, can they seal the edge, whether it's an offensive tackle or a tight end, in the direction they want to run the football? If they do that, that's the result that you get, that type of a gain. If they don't, oftentimes it's not a very successful play. Throwing now is Mahomes. Looking left sideline, incomplete. Even the greats in this game, and, and he certainly qualifies as one of them. They're going to have trouble if they continue to throw into double coverage. He better be careful. Throwing into too much double coverage might have a couple of them picked off. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Attack, attack. To throw, it's Mahomes. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Mahomes hitting his favorite target, Travis Kelsey, on a touchdown pass. And the Chiefs will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. They're the favorite, no question. And when they score like that on the opening drive to set the tone, you're the underdog on the other bench. That's hard, isn't it? Yeah, because you can't bring the home crowd into it. Because you're counting on that to be a part of your equalizer, ride their momentum. But you have to give them something to cheer for. So now what you're worried about is they're better than we are. We can't get going. Are we about to get blown out? Good news, still a long way to go. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And solid field position here to start as they get this out to the 40-yard line. In the course of the game, we focus on the offense and the defense, and we give lip service to the special teams. It's way bigger than that. The third phase of any football team, and special teams provided the spark to begin this game. and the Vikings with a first and 10 at the 40. They'll begin on the ground with Akers. Down the right sideline. Touchdown, Vikings. Kim Akers, 60 yards. And the Vikings are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. We'll go ahead and strap in, partner. <laughs> Less than two minutes in, had the score on the one side, a 
quick answer, though, to get the equalizer. Sometimes you get that sense of urgency that ratchets up, right? When you give up an early touchdown like that, you just know you're like, okay, how do we go back and equalize things? Can we get it done fast? And they absolutely did. Essentially, we're back to even, aren't we? Joseph connects on the extra point, and we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Here's Pacheco to begin the drive. Pass the 20 for a short gain, second down. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Now Mahomes. That is incomplete. This is part about this guy's got multiple open throws on the mantle. We're used to seeing him make the impossible throws. But here Mahomes knows he's got nothing. So Wiseau just gets rid of it. Now a swing pass. It's Edwards alone. But he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he's going to step out of bounds all the way down at the 30-yard line. A big play there on the catch and run. 49 yards. He was not the primary target. They expected to get the ball downfield. Instead, checked it down. An old coach of mine used to say to us all the time, when they check it down, that should end the down. In this case, though, he foiled that in a big way and turned it into a big play. When you see those RPOs run, you need the first man to attack and be a disruptor. And on that play, he closed down fast and helped knock it away. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Now here's Mahomes. That ball caught, it's Rice. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings' 12-yard line. Nice play for Kansas City, picking up the first 18 yards that time. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Headed straight, it's Pacheco. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped him. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. Pacheco gets it again on second down. And he'll take this one inside the 10, down to the 8. A minimal gain as we tick down inside of a minute remaining in the opening quarter. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You may also just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down. Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. 43, 43, Throwing is Mahomes on third. They'll check this one down to Pacheco. And the Chiefs are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Had the offense humming on the first drive. Not much has changed here on drive number two. No, and I think a lot of times confidence just really kicks in for a team. They may have been confident going into the game, but once you prove it on a drive, it's hard to get out of that mindset, isn't it? And look, let's face it. We can always lock in on the skill position, guys. Those big fellas up front, they're really making this offense go early in the game. Pacheco, 7-7, seven, seven, our score after one. The Chiefs with the football as we start the second quarter. As they come up now, second and goal. The 
Pacheco once more. And yeah, good work there defensively as they're able to keep him out of the end zone. Call it no gain that time, and now it's third and goal. Can this Vikings D hold up one more time? Third and goal. Now here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. So it's been a long drive. They've held the ball for quite a while. Now what do you do here? Well, to me, at this stage, after this drive, this close to the goal line, three points would be a letdown. I'm going for it here. They'll go for it. It's Mahomes. That is caught by Rice for a Kansas City touchdown. A great effort there. There to make the grab. And the Chiefs' decision to go for it pays off with six points. Fourth and goal. The defense needed one more stand. They couldn't get it. I just wondered if they were thinking heavy run here in that situation instead of being able to play the pass. And they were beaten on that possession. Extra point by Butker is on target. And that makes the score 14 to 7. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And he'll be out of bounds across the 25. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. It really doesn't get much easier than the last drive. One play, and they took it all the way to the house on the touchdown run. And you know how many times we talked about that's exactly how they drew it up? Because essentially every play that's drawn up in an offensive playbook, if everyone does their job perfectly, should go for a touchdown, right? That's one that actually did. Give a little credit to those big fellows up front, too. They sprang their man for not only a big gain, but six points. Throwing, Cousins. Throw left side, and Osborne has it. And he will have a Vikings first down. He needed four, he doubled that. He wound up getting eight. A give, running right is Akers. And that'll hurt the average a bit, as this time they're able to get him behind the line. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. Now Cousins sees something. He's going to change this around. Second and 11. This one caught by Osborne, right side. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 35. They'll give this to Akers running right. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. I think we all suspected that they were going back to him after he found the end zone on his last carry. And they kept the positive momentum going there. Another nice run by him. Cousins. And his throw is incomplete. They're putting together a drive here in the final minutes of the half, but the coverage has been tight all game long, and they certainly want to keep them off the scoreboard here. Hey, Ringo, 48. Now Cousins. Able to find the open man. That's complete. Touchdown, Vikings. Justin Jefferson. 31 yards. And the Vikings are an extra point away from evening this one up. Kevin O'Connell choosing to lead his guys out there, and they'll go for two. Cousins will try and throw. And this will be caught and as they convert here for two. He hits the big target for the two-point try. <laughs> Defenses hate those guys, especially around the goal line. It's hard to decide who you're going to put on him. Are you going to put a smaller corner on him? Are you going to put a safety who doesn't have maybe the same coverage skills? How about a linebacker? He may have the size, but he's not used to really covering in space. That's why the tight end gives you such a great advantage when you're throwing the football. 
And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And right now, we've got a little bit of an offensive masterpiece going on both sides, moving the football, scoring points. It's almost like somebody put the defense on rookie mode in this one. I mean, we haven't even left the first half, Charles, and we're certainly on pace for a shootout. An excellent start for both offenses. The fans have to be enjoying this to see all these points go up on the board. As a former defender, you know I'm not enjoying this at all, but right now, both these teams just trading haymakers. Let's see if anyone slips up first. Can anyone counter with a nice little jab and get things going in their direction? Mahomes now on first down. And that'll be off the mark too far out in front, and it's incomplete. A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they throw it. Now with a short passing game, you should be above 60% just to be in the average range. A gain of 32 that time. That is the exact right play call against that defense. So a hat tip to the offensive play caller because he won that part of the chess match. But give credit to his players as well. They won the execution part of it. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. Here's second and five now from the 22. Mahomes going to throw. His throw incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. Looking to throw is Mahomes. They'll set up the screen to Pacheco. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. The Chiefs have got the passing game rolling a bit. And another first down. Pacheco gets it up the gun. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco taking it in from 11 yards out. And the Chiefs will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. So, Charles, that's three touchdowns on three drives, and it's just been an offensive barrage so far. Great word, partner, using barrage right there. I'm going to add another word, if you don't mind. How about perfection? No surprise that they're leading right now. Absolute dominance throughout this ball game, and no signs of slowing down. Extra point by Butker is on target, and that'll make this a six-point game. Now, after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Kenny Nwagu now out of his end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Uh, he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. 19 yards there on the catch and run. From up near the 40 now after the big play to start, here's another first and 10. Cousins to throw it. We're looking for Jefferson, but this is intercepted. Trent McDuffie with a pick. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. And we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. And they line up now for what will likely be the last play of the first half. Final shot before the half for Mahomes. He's going to throw one up for the end zone. 
Oh, and that is incomplete. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, getting set for quarter number three here. The Vikings set to receive the second half kickoff, and they trail it here as we resume play. Nuwongu now from his end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled it to 20. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. Well, Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football, and now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. And we both know this coach pretty darn well, don't we? Because his game planning is always on point. And now that he's getting the ball to start the second half, how about all the offense that you already referenced in the first half? He'll put that all together and come out with something really strong, I believe, to get things going here in the third quarter. They'll try and run for this with Akers. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. And quickly, they get to the line. They'll run on first down with Akers. Still going inside the 20. Touchdown, Vikings! Cam Akers. This second touchdown of the night. And the Vikings are an extra point away from taking the lead. Kevin O'Connell choosing to leave his guys out there. And they'll go for two. They'll try and throw for it. And he is into the end zone to give him a two-point lead. Could have been up one with a point after, but they go for two. And it worked. It almost seems like they're trying to set an identity, doesn't it? We're going to be one of those teams that every time we get a chance to put extra points on the board, we will. Because really, it's minimal in difference, right? Whether you have one or two, the field goal can still get you. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. And we see James, he will not return it, and they'll bring it out to the 25. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And Charles, it feels like we're set up for a good second half here. Came out of the locker room, one score game. Now the lead has already changed hands. Well, this offense, they've got an opportunity right now to take that lead right back. Yeah, and it feels like you're going back and forth, almost a little bit like a tennis match, right? And we're just, uh, you know, our heads just keep moving. Which side has it? Which side's going to score? How are they going to go out doing it? A little bit of a challenge for each side trying to match each other. So not quite a first down just yet as they come up on second and less than a yard. From the gun, it's Mahomes. The throw for Tony is intercepted. Picked off by Harrison Smith. And the return stops at the 39-yard line. Well, this had trouble written all over from the start. He's got two extra defensive backs in the game he's got to deal with. They're in a dime set. So everywhere he's looking, he's seeing a different color jersey. And sure enough, this one winds up being intercepted. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They'll go with Akers here up the middle. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. And now they're in the hurry up. Second down, they'll go with Akers again. And he'll take this close to a first down at the Chiefs 31. On 
On third down, here's a run by Akers. Well, they hit him in the backfield, and he will not escape. And that is not going to get it done. So they'll pass on what would have been a 49-yard field goal attempt, and they're going for it on fourth down. Now, meanwhile, they go for it on fourth down, and my goodness, incomplete. The Vikings unable to convert here on fourth. And the Chiefs' defense comes up with a stop. So the defense has to stay out and get one more stop. They were able to do it, forcing the incompletion. So on their record, that goes down as a successful play. It doesn't matter how they got there, how it happened. They got it done. They're the ones that are jubilant. Attack, attack! Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Flush to his right. And he'll just get rid of it. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one. And that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They're giving him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks. And he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. He had the touchdown earlier. This one's going to get him a first down. You don't always expect tight ends to be big in terms of run after the catch, but after that play, he joins a growing band of players that's putting that stereotype right on its ear. 43, 43. Mahomes now on first down. And that's to the left sideline and incomplete. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he let it just a little bit too much, trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground, incomplete. Yellow. Now Patrick going to change the play. It's going to be a gain of six on the keeper, but it leads to a third down. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gun. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. From the gun on third down, Mahomes. Short throw hauled in by Kelsey. And yeah, this won't be enough. Stop the yard short after a gain of three. Fourth down. Well, it looks like they got what they wanted. They got the completion, but they weren't able to break any tackles or gain nearly enough yardage to pick up the first down. Now to be fourth and short. Too long for a field goal. Too short to punt that in-between range, and they'll go for it on fourth down. Attack, attack. They'll run for it with Pacheco, and they are going to stop.